I would encourage other young people, any chance to serve on any type of community board, no matter how small the position, is learn the rope, meet other leaders in the community by doing that. You can't train leadership. I was so honored to get this award. Ooh. To be honored by the salt of the earth people, the people that I think the most of. Stone County's J.B. Brown can't help but smile. This is what he loves to do. And on this day, the green grass and blue skies make it that much more enjoyable. His ancestors have farmed this land for generations, and Brown has carried on the family business. We floated timber down on the river the first time the water got up to get it down to the mill. Then when logging really came in, railroads came in, they really got into logging more. Always had cattle and sheep in the woods, had open range, compliments of the Spanish influence. This was planted in 84, these trees were. We normally sell them on diameter DB8. Through down markets and even hurricanes blowing through his timber, farming and family have always been the constant in Brown's life. This has always been home, and that's what hurt so hard about the early 80s when people were going down. They weren't just losing a business, they were losing the legacy and the memory, the tradition, everything that went with it. That never give up attitude was instilled in Brown at a young age, but also a great work ethic. Much of his family served in the armed forces during World War II, and when they returned home, they farmed. When I grew up, there were 11 of my dad's family, nine of mother. Almost every one of them served in World War II, but also every one of them farmed either cattle, timber. There was always somewhere in the chicken business, somewhere in the dairy, and you worked. Add it all up and Brown couldn't help but be a leader. Still, his style is not lead from in front, but lead by example. You could pull a chain all over this property. You couldn't push it very far. If you had anyone working for you, you worked with them. You didn't ask them to do anything you wouldn't do yourself. Today, Brown serves on the Mississippi Farm Bureau Federation State Board of Directors and the Farm Fund Political Action Committee, along with president of his county Farm Bureau. But receiving this honor, Brown says he was surprised and humbled. Get me wet-eyed. There again, I, it came as a shock. Never did any of this to get an award. But then when I sat down and got to thinking about it, this is the grassroots, solid earth people. Couldn't represent people that I'm more proud of. And then receive this honor. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2022 Excellence in Leadership Award winner, J.B. Brown.